And today we are here at Fitness City in Matawan, New Jersey. So you just saw the ab circuit we did. We did four different exercises. And you probably noticed what the exercises um, for this one, for the first one, it was a cable pull down. On this one, it actually works a lot of your center abs. With these exercises, don't go fast on it. The faster you go, you're not gonna get that good of a workout. So slow it down. You'll notice that most of these exercises, I always pause at the bottom of it. So it's the cable machine, hold at the bottom. Hold for just a second. And everything as you come up, don't fully extend out where your muscle is no longer engaged. The next exercise we did after that was the hanging arm raises. It's not an exercise actually gonna work your uh, lower obliques, kind of get that nice V cut in, as also hit some of your lower abs. <laughs> So on the hanging arm raises, I came up with my knees, held it for a second, and as I went down, I didn't fully extend my legs down. So there's always tension on those muscle bellies for every exercise. And at the top of each set, so when you're in that full crunch position, blow out air, you're able to engage your abs more, you'll force more blood in there, and also get more muscle growth for it as well. So in the third exercise we did, we actually did on the flat bench here, that is gonna actually work your upper to middle abs. And then the third exercise is the hanging leg raises. We did the sides. And that's strictly really gonna hit those outer V. So on this one, if you're gonna do a circuit, I would recommend kind of breaking up your ab muscle groups. So don't do two ab exercises back to back that hit strictly the center. You'll notice I hit nearly center, outer obliques, center, lower abs. And so for the circuits, I usually do three to four sets. It depends on your body type. As you do more, you'll be able to do more, uh, do more sets. Um, I usually do four to five different ab exercises, kind of depending on what I want to target, which muscle groups I want to hit more or less, you know, how you want to sculpt your physique, and do about 10 to 15 reps. Anything lower in rep wise, the weight's probably too high. And at that point, your abs may not be just engaging your upper abs. Other ab components may start taking effect and you're no longer really isolating that ab. However, if you're getting too high, it gets more of a 
you know, aerobic exercise, you're not really one that either, unless you're just kind of wanting to slightly sculpt it, but if you want to develop it, promote some muscle growth, this is kind of a happy medium. You're gonna to have to kind of play around and see what works for you. Um, I also don't go really heavy on the weight. Um, some people go heavier than me, some people will have to go a little bit lighter. So kind of play around with the weight, see what works for you, so you can kind of hit that 10 to 15 kind of sweet spot. That's kind of, I've noticed by optimum growth for your abs. Also a huge thank you for Fitness City here in Mattawa, New Jersey, like I said. Thank you for having us here. It's an amazing, cool gym. So there's actually an inside gym as well as also an outside gym. So I've had the opportunity to be here twice. However, the last time we weren't able to see the outside portion. It wasn't quite finished yet. Thankfully this trip around, it is finished. There's a lot of cool old school equipment that you don't really see, but a lot of people bash old school equipment. Um, but you know, it's old school and it works for a reason.